The next view I'm going to take you through in the FAST exam is the subcostal view of the heart in a four-chamber plane. For this, we're going to put our transducer, the phased array, to the subxiphoid area aiming toward the patient's left shoulder. Here's the probe marker here, which I'm going to angle toward the patient's right. When I do this exam, I want to make sure this transducer is along the frontal plane and aiming toward the chest. A common mistake is to go too inferior into the abdomen, so you want to go deep into the chest. When you're in this location, the other thing you're going to need to do is increase your depth. So I'm going to use my depth key right here, and I'm going to increase so I can see the full heart in view. And now we're at, you can see we're at 21 centimeters. And some common landmarks that you need to identify, first thing you see is that we see liver at the top of the screen. That liver is our acoustic window into the heart. The beating thing in the center is obviously the heart, and we can identify the entire heart and the perimeter of the heart with the pericardium. The pericardium is a white line that I'm seeing, you can see that's surrounding the full heart. Then we can identify the chambers. The chambers are relatively easy to identify in this view. The chambers on the right side of the heart are over here. And the easy way to identify those, remember the liver is on the right side of the body, so these chambers that are adjacent to the liver would be right-sided chambers. The large chamber, which is adjacent to the liver, is the right ventricle. On the other side, we see the left ventricle, and we'll see the two atrii. And again, our focus on this exam is to identify the pericardium and to look for free fluid within it. And we're going to look for is an anechoic area within that pericardium, which would be signs of a hemopericardium. Now, if you can't get this view, a great alternate view is the parasternal view of the heart in a long-axis plane. We're going to take you through that in the echocardiography section.